When I was little, I wanted to be a singer. My dream was to sing the national anthem at a sporting event. So today, I'm gonna cross number 47 off my list. 102.1 The Edge, that was City in Color with Grand Optimist. So tonight, I am going to be singing the national anthem at the Toronto Rock game. I know, what am I doing? When I was told I was gonna sing at a sporting event, the first off, I was like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? I was a little scared, but excited. True patriot love. You'll be fine when you get up there. No, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. When I get up there, I am horrible, horrible at memorizing. No, when the day arrived, I was way more nervous than I thought I would be. What if I write it on my hand? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna write it on my hand. You're gonna write it on my hand. I'm gonna write it on my hand. First off, I know the national anthem. I've been singing it since I was, I don't know, four years old. So it's easy. You know, it's not, you don't really have to prepare that much. How do you prepare for 15,000 people watching you? You can't. I just didn't want to be that person that messes up the national anthem. <laughs> When I showed up the ACC and I asked the girls if anybody has messed up the anthem. I haven't seen it before since I've been here, but yeah. it has happened at other sporting events. That's when I got freaked out. So would this be okay? I have them on my hand. <laughs> oh my God, you wrote the words of the anthem on your hand. Yeah. You're gonna be great. Okay, well, it's so fun. Let's practice, I need to do this. All right, let's get you down set for your mic check. I don't wanna make you more nervous, but we've got like almost 11,000 people coming tonight. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if that's a good thing to tell you yeah, or not. Don't tell me. <laughs> okay. okay, this is big. I look out onto the field and it started kicking in. It started. The adrenaline, the sweat <laughs> on my hands. But just looking out and I kept on asking, is this gonna be a full house? I'm so freaking out. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Oh, Canada. are playing while I'm trying to sing the anthem. Balls are flying at my head. Come on. I'm about to sing the national anthem at a sporting event. Okay, honestly, do you think I should sing higher or lower? Higher? Okay, but here's the issue. There's no piano. Like, nobody's giving me a note. Oh. What do you think? Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. I was practicing, but I wasn't really practicing. You know when you just say the words over and over again, but you're not thinking. You're not making connections from one line to another line. <clears throat> There's people here. Apparently there's only 14 open seats in the world. It's minutes away before I sing the anthem. This is the time I needed to focus. This is it. I've got a mascot who's bringing me on. I've got cheerleaders running out. I am completely 100% distracted. I'm walking out into the middle of the field and I'm thinking about my notes. Don't mess up that note that you start on. Make sure you get the right note. I can't even swallow because I'm so nervous. I started on the wrong note. I started on the wrong verse. When you're standing in front of 14,000 people and you don't know what to do, I wanted to run, drop the microphone and run, but I wasn't gonna do that. I have 14,000 people booing me. I am, tears are being held back. No, 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 wait, one more time, one more time. It's my bucket list, it's my bucket list. Oh, Canada, we stand on native land. So I stopped and I listened to the crowd because that's the only way I was gonna get back on track. It was the only way, and they started singing loud. True.
Hi, Mom. Hi. So I went out in front of 13,000 people. Yes. I sang the first wrong line of O Canada. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. How could you get it wrong? <laughs> Mom, you haven't stood in front of 13,000 people before. It was all black. I couldn't see my hand. What did you see your hands for? Well, that's where the lyrics were written. Oh, come on. The backlash from the anthem hurt. I've had so much hate mail. It's so hard. You are worse than Roseanne. We really wanted to like you, but you forgot the words. People are so mean. This does not reflect intelligence. This does not reflect how much I love my country. This, all this reflects is a girl who choked, who got nervous. There were so many people who were amazing, who said, Josie, you know, you did it. And they played it every single hour on TSN for two weekends straight. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Number 47, sing the national anthem at a sporting event. I'm going to proudly cross this one off my list. Oh, Josie, you made a nice recovery. We Thanks. still love you. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't forget to tweet us at Wilder Weir, at Josie Dye, and at Oso Cosmo. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.